Hey everybody, what is up? It is Taru, and we are back with some Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh yeah, so we're here hitting up the third world, the swamp level, Creme Quay. We're gonna find out why there's a big boat in the middle of the swamp, and why these guys can't drive or something like that. I- something. I said something like that, right? Anyway, this is sort of- this is pretty much when the game starts picking up, isn't it? Cause I'm probably gonna die 50 billion times on this level. Anyway, um... That was pretty- there's some pretty dead air right there. I don't know why, I was just totally zoned out. Anyway, um... This is the, uh... Emulator version, so it's going to be- this, this level is a lot harder than it should be. Because the these guys are so noisy, they just have to stop. Because I don't even. But yeah, this this level is gonna be a lot harder than it should be because the um the barrels are gonna turn by themselves instead of being controllable like they should be. So and they're timed too, which makes it even worse. And I missed that one, but that's okay. Cause then I can just slaughter this guy and that guy. Whoa! Hey, you gave me bananas and then now they're gone. No, I want bananas. Okay. Well, whatever. No one likes you. This is possibly the just most intimidating part of the level, and I think we've just about finished it off. So let's just use Rambi. And get rid of Rambi, and he will give us the DK coin. And you see this arrow going here. That's because this guy's gonna go left, so you gotta follow him before he goes away, because he's gonna give you something very important a chest. And just break it open on his head. We get the cannonball for this cannon that we just totally passed by. If you're wondering why I didn't say anything about the cannon that I just jumped past, it's because we were about to get the cannonball anyway. So, come on, Diddy Kong, throw it in the air. Ain't that hard, it's just a cannonball. So that takes us to 25 creme coins. So we'll destroy them all with dragonflies and bees and cannonball throwing. Good stuff. Oh, these guys. Whoa, hey, you got the letter N up there. Thank you. Anyway, this gets, um, this gets to be the easier part of the barrel. Blasting. Goodness, you just hold right the whole time. I knew that was not... He was suspicious. So let's... Let's just dodge some barrels, because I, I don't like that the position of that dude. And I will take the bananas that he was standing so wonderfully in front of. Oh, I love the music in this level. It's great. I thought I wasn't going to get the yellow letter G. Aha. Uh -huh. And another bonus barrel. I think you're supposed to jump off the barrel into the bonus, but that's okay. Because I got team throw instead. I am suddenly extremely hungry. I don't know what it- I just failed. No! That's not even cool. Can I get back over there? Oh yes I can! Oh my god. Where'd he go? He left. Okay. Well, now we can just bonus again, because I totally failed that last bonus. I told you about this this bullcrap where I cannot control the barrels at all. So I just have to do it, like, as if, you know, it was a freaking barrel blast. And somehow I won without even hitting, like, the last barrel, which is okay. That is okay. And we're just gonna end the level. I don't even care about the timing because because this level is just but it's a miracle I didn't die that is a miracle I did fall off the bonus but I didn't die and now we're gonna hit up my least favorite level in the entire freaking game glimmer's galleon I hate seeing those two words together and now you get to see why because it's a freaking water level with no lights no lights. It is a blind water level. 
I really hate these. There's one in Donkey Kong Country 3, and I don't remember one in one, but there must be one in one, right? Anyway, this, I practiced this enough for me to kind of get the route correct, so hopefully we can just get this expediently. We have about 30 seconds left, and... Oh. Okay. That, that was very odd. Um, it didn't play the victory. They just kind of walked away. Anyway, up here is a lot of bananas. So we can just farm some lives here. Number four and the DK coin. I don't actually know what those numbers are for. I, I Honestly, I have no idea whatsoever. Why are there numbers? Someone could explain that to me. I would be glad. So now we're actually going to start the level. And as you can see, everything is dark. Everything is underwater. These guys, they can't they can't move because oh my god. The glimmer scares the shit out of me. Oh, by the way, um I'm going to have to put a just note epilepsy warning cuz this the stupid fish flashes every single time he switches directions. So I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum, but um I apologize if uh I apologize if it, you know, causes some issues with your vision. I really, I, I just dislike this level a lot. And a little bit of lag. How could do without that? What is up here? Nothing. Okay. Except stingrays. Oh, there's this guy. Explode. Thank you. I can just let him go. I don't want to go for the bananas because I know there's got to be someone more dangerous down there. Uh oh. I'm sorry for the lights. I just. Ugh, this level is just so bad. It's just gonna keep flashing. And. Uh, all right, is this Starfish Town? This is indeed Starfish Town. I don't like the Starfish either. Oh, come on, pop. There we go. Thank you. Starfish, no! Don't come and kill me. God, this guy. Gonna come and eat me, but that's okay. Oh, Starfish. Oh, this is gonna be a Starfish run right here. Starfish run! This one, this this place, this guy, no one wants to deal with. I have the letter N, but I don't have. Oop! This guy got in the way, but I dodged him all, all like a boss. Yeah. So how is everyone doing? It is the twenty second. Um, right after. Uh, how was your apocalypse? I'm sure it was a fantastic apocalypse. And we're cl we're closing up on the big Christmas. So, I wish y'all a happy holiday in that case. And I hope you have a good time with your friends and family, whoever you decide to spend your Christmas with, cuz it's just going to be great. It's been a very warm winter, um relatively up here in the northern part of the states uh, we had one day of snow at the beginning of December so like there's like been no snow oh oh there were flurries today but like nothing that stuck nothing that actually like happened it was kind of um if you were hoping for snow it's kind of a lame deal but you know um, if you're like me and you don't really you could care less about snow it's it was a pretty good deal Snow means snoveling. Snoveling. <laughs> snoveling. Shoveling. Snow means shoveling to me. So it's like, you know, I don't really care for snow that much. Just gonna let these guys explode and then I can move on. I can collect this arrow full of bananas. And then I can blind you some more. And then we are out of this stupid level. I'll just hold right so I can hit this guy. Yeah. Woo! I am getting a lot more lives than I did the first time I played this. 
I actually did another take, but it was just so... I was holding back so much. It was, it was a quiet... It was supposed to be a quiet time at night. But anyway, I think I can do one more, so I'm gonna do one more. Crackhead Clamber. Um, it would almost be my favorite in this in in this world if oh no i destroyed the barrel okay that's okay now i gotta go back here with the bees i hate bees but i gotta go here let's get a life from this guy before we attempt this and then oh god oh god uh, oh oh Use invincibility frames instead. <laughs> well, we lost a monkey, but in the process. Oh, uh, no, don't throw it away. This is important. Because it's the DK coin. We have 13 DK coins, which is pretty awesome. Now, I destroyed my barrel, so I'm just gonna have this. Okay, yeah. Alright, well, I don't need to get the DK coin again. So, we can just go right back in um bit bit reckless on my part let's switch to diddy kong um just because um it's i mean this dixie kind of breaks this level so much but so i'm gonna just gonna play hard mode for you guys just so no i lost my monkey <laughs> Oh, jeez. This is not going well for for me. Why is it this level? I thought I was good at this one. But apparently I'm not. Get rid of you, Mr. Dude. Jumping across the place. Oh, Jesus. This, this makes me nervous. Bees make me nervous. Letter O's make me nervous. Ugh. Alright, halfway point, we're all safe. I don't know what that barrel is for, because it has like no, no, no lift. <laughs> do you even lift? Barrel, do you even lift? You don't. You obviously do not. So yeah, there was like a bonus right up there. It's probably one of the more obvious bonuses. And it's pretty simple, just destroy them all. Get an animal buddy to do it. But then if you notice the sign out there, you kinda, we kind of lose him in like three seconds. Let's just kill that guy, because they're pretty annoying to deal with. Alright, come switch time. These guys make crocodile head platforms. I'm sure that, you know, it's just a great thing to have. Come on. I just don't want to run out of like time because they are they these guys are on timers. See if you noticed him sink back into the sand quietly. I don't know if it goes from reverse order or like they all go down at the same time. I've never stayed around like quick enough to Ooh jeez. Um well, now I am now I have the cheap one. <laughs> That's okay. I won't I won't use her floaty skills too much. And we can get the G. So, that went well. That went a lot better than it, sh it could have gone. <laughs> this is when I start to lose my, lose my edge. And our next fight. Our next fight. Our next level. It is a fight, apparently. A rattle battle. One of well, one of the tougher levels, I would say, definitely. So when we when I meet you back next time, we will beat the battle of the ship with Rattle Battle. I will see you then.